Hello there and welcome to HunterNet Starfighter, where today I'm checking out this neat little game that's still in development, still at Alpha. In fact, it's not available on Steam just yet, but you guys can check it out at the developer's Patreon if you guys want to, uh, want to see what this game is all about for yourselves. But for me, I see Space Sim Dogfighter and I am all about it. So let's jump right into it. I've just taken off from our star base little here. It's actually a little fleet carrier here. Our objective is to keep our fleet carrier alive and destroy the enemy's fleet carrier. You see there's already an enemy here jumping on top of ours, attempting to deal damage wherever it can. This is a mistake, because I am here. And also, it has many, many weapons available to defend itself. Let's see if we can't engage some of their interceptors here out toward the center. And see what all this is about. But for you guys who may be familiar with me, uh, I I do enjoy a good dogfighter, a good space sim every so often, especially where I can good fly without flight assist. Give me those full, real physics every time makes me happy. And here I have chosen an interceptor-style aircraft with just a forward auto cannon. As you can see here, I will be waylaying this heavy fighter here. It's firing missiles or drones. I think those are just rockets, like dumb fired rockets. And ooh, we didn't make it. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yes, you see the screen blacking out? There is G-Lock in this game. That means if I if I mess up my uh, my maneuvering just a little bit too much and don't take care of my squishy human pilot inside, then we can actually G-Lock out at full blackout, which is great fun to watch when somebody else happens and somebody else does that because then I can just gun them down as they fly in a straight line or if they're running without flight assist or if they're running with flight assist their vehicle will attempt to come to a complete stop um, that that just makes them a sitting duck all right let's try to take this out this is a bomber I imagine it's quite good for destroying the enemy capital ship enemy fleet carrier in this case my fleet carrier because it's an enemy bomber. I want it nowhere near my fleet carrier, so I'm going to get rid of it here. Come on. Yes. There we go. Dodge this. Nope. Get away from me, bomber. Yeah, got it. Oof. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this. Dodge around here. Hello. There you are. Oh look, it's another bomber. This time, I've matched its trajectory, so I could just sit here and lay into its top side. Oh, it's got so much HP though, uh oh. Those were missiles flying past my cockpit, they were not friendly missiles. Bombers seem to have a lot of missiles attached to them. I know, big shock. But there's a lot going on here. Wow, this is chaos. This is like... Almost infinity battlescape levels of chaos, but I'm pretty certain that it is only just because everyone's all in this same spot. For those who are unfamiliar with infinity battlescape, that is a game where you could have literally hundreds of of pilots all engaging in each other. This one, I believe, is only six v six, or a similar small. Oh, missiles go away. Or a similar small combat. This is very much so like a dogfight duel kind of simulator, which I am okay with. I love that idea. It doesn't quite have the raw chaotic potential that a game like Planet Side or Infinity Battlescape does, and you know, <laughs> that's probably a good thing. Just keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it small, and there's a ridiculous amount of good dogfighting stuff you can get out of this. This is the game that I have heard a great many things about from many players in the Planet Side community. In fact, I'm pretty certain that's why. That's that's how I found it. Oh, I am out of ammo. Time for me to get out of here, boys. Let's head back to our head back to our fleet carrier. Get out of here. get out of this because I have played this before, and I have I have seen this. And a lot of a lot of players will come to me and be like, "But Incursus, what other flying games do you know of?" Well, this is not one that's available for everyone just yet. But boy, am I excited about it! Guys, look at this. And we can go and we can land. Ah, nice. We'll get ourselves all fixed up and then load up on ammo. Perfect. Let's go. You can see in the lower right hand screen, the little heads up display screen there, uh, all of our shields, our heat, our power, and the ammunition. Okay. 
Let's go engage this guy. Take off flight assist. Make it just easier to fly that way. And come on, hunt the bomber. It's got missiles trailing it. And now it has me trailing it. I couldn't quite match its trajectory there, mostly because its trajectory is flying into an asteroid. I'm not keen to repeat that. However, I can orbit around it now that it's out in the open. And with that, we can gun it down. Looks like this bomber is surrounded by my teammates. So this guy's not going to last long. Looks like he also has a couple of his allies coming in to help him out. Like this guy right here. Another bomber. So much. Yes. Beautiful. Flying backwards. You'll love to see it. There's another one down. Hello. Oh, we've only got a few seconds left in this match. And that's it. We have one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hunter Net Starfighter. If you guys want to check out this game for yourself, make sure to join its community Discord, perhaps follow it on Patreon, see what kind of joy it could give you, or perhaps just to check out and see if this is the kind of game you would enjoy. As it's still in development, it's not available just yet, so hopefully we can keep our eyes on it in the future.